Hello everybody, my name is Craig Bennett and I'm the founder and owner of TechViews and Help. And today I am going to show you how to encrypt your folders and files on Windows without a third party software. Now, as far as things goes, one quick disclaimer is if this does mess up your stuff at any point, then it's not on my head. But in all honesty, just shouldn't because it's very simple. And as far as things goes, the only thing that you do need is a working Windows operating system. And we're looking at uh, 107, 108, and after. I can't confirm before that because it's not on my hands on a before 107 computer. So just keep that in mind. Now, as far as things goes, what you need to do and how this encryption works is... Let's get into that first. How this encryption works is not like the normal where you click on a file and you got to put in a password and go from there. No, you will not even be able to see that file. And that's very important if you want to keep your things hidden. So a person can't come up to your computer and say, hmm, let's look at these folders and see what our uh, family member, friend, or enemy, or whatever has on their computer. So that's quite important. However, I want to put, point out something very, very important. Without using third-party software, your encryption is going to be very weak. This means that if you're going against the average person, you will have no problem fighting against that. However, if you're doing something illegal or whatnot, for most part, you're never going to really ever be able to hide that from, say, FBI, NSA, uh, militaries in, in any country or whatnot. But if um, if you're worried about something and you want some tough encryption, you need to get a third-party software that does a 256ABE. That's military military grade password protection. That's uh, military grade encryption, and that's the highest at this time. I'm pretty sure there's higher that is in a private area, but um, as far as what Spooks use and whatnot, but as far as what's out there in public, that is the best we can get our hands on at this given time. It's pretty good stuff too. So, with that in mind. What you need to do is, again, find a folder or whatnot you want to keep your private stuff in. You can even start a new folder, call it whatever you want, it doesn't matter. But for, you know, whatever purpose, I'm going to use my music folder. We're going to start and create a text document, very important. Just double click the text document and have it open. And you want to copy and paste the following. Make sure that it, it starts with CLS. Very important. All lowercase and whatnot. And make sure it ends with N. Just copy and paste it and you should be alright. Now as far as this goes. You want to find this password goes here. This is very critical. Do not highlight over either one of these spaces on either end. Just highlight the exact as I have it. Press backspace. Type in the password you want. And for test purposes, we're just going to put TRH for the initials of tech reviews and up. But put in whatever you want. Now, if you really want to do something really advanced or uh, want to keep people out, you might want to put in a longer password because a weak password, even with a 256 ABE encryption, it's pretty easy to break it. So the longer, the more different characters, the better off you are. But if you're fighting against your family or you know something stupid and small like that, and nothing you know too critical then I want to go too critical on that because for the most part you're just putting more work on you and the chances are is after the first three or four tries they're just gonna give up anyways or just realistically so as far as this goes go to save as very important now 
what you want to do is copy and paste the exact I have the, this in the description by the way into the file name and then as far as it save as type go to all files very important so again copy and paste that or type it in I don't care make sure that the txt is not within it make sure it's dot bat very important and also make sure to save as type is all files this will work on Windows 7 and, and I'm on Windows 8 right now so that proves it works on there go to save and you can mess with this if you want but for the most part I'm going to keep it the same go to save and you see that here's a text file the icon and we got a different file what is this I know what it is but most won't now as far as things goes I got a preview section right here and this actually shows so right here where the password is TRH that's uh, one thing to keep in mind is if someone actually knew what they're doing they can actually do something simple like that and hey look I found a password but let's double click that and now we got a new file so from here what you want to do is you can put in any fo folder or file within here in the private so we're going to put in this just for you know whatever purposes double click this and press Y again this is not the most secure but most likely people won't know what this is and then double click it and let's put in some random junk and you can see it didn't do nothing let's put in TRH and or whatever you put it and this file will show up again and with that very very important now one thing that is important is I honestly had spent too much time into this figuring out what happens if you hid this and you lost this so that's one thing to keep in mind is if you want something encrypted and this is pretty much a rule of thumb even if you're able to see the file itself you need to be prepared to lose it because if the encryption breaks and the character goes off which does happen and this is even with the best of the best stuff if one character goes off then he ain't getting in because you don't know what that one character is so that's one advantage of this is you always know what that one character is now as far as things goes if you do switch as you see here we got the text file in here let's lock it and let's drag it over to here which has no whatever and what we do is double click that and we got a new private folder so that's very important to note this is re required to unlock it let's put TRH give it a second or two and you see this so that's one thing to keep in mind um, let's delete this go back and if you want to move it you can move them both and let's unlock it again just for example purposes and you can see that the files still here so as long as you move both of these private and locker and then you should be all right let's change the names of this just change it to TRH do click that and you see it open up private so this file must remain with that name so just in case if if you're curious about that very important to note that again it's a horrible horrible security but it's better than nothing and to be honest most people won't know what this is they'll see you know most of this they they'll probably even see this and I mean come on 
the average person is not going to know if not uh, percentage pass percentage equals TRH. They they won't know if that means that if that means it's not TRH, then say it's bad. Most likely, they'll say it's not TRH. The average person's most likely is going to think more than is actually the password or something else. If any, any of this is. If not the entire thing. So that's important to note because the average person is just not going to know it. But um, again, if you're just trying to hide this from your family members or whatnot, it's not a big deal. You can definitely use this. But if you're trying to hide it from something like the FBI or, or some actual people or person with incredible background in this you ain't doing nothing for them you need to use a third party so anyways this has been craig bennett the founder and owner of tech reviews and up and if you got any questions or anything about this or if you got any suggestions for any encryption or whatnot for this particular thing that's free and easy to use then please leave it below in the suggestions file and if i like your suggestion then i might actually make a video on it and I will give you a shout out if I make a video based upon your suggestion. Also, to note, if you got any questions or anything about this or you run into any problems, let me know. And um, I will try to help you as best as I can and we'll go from there. And um, as far as things goes, if you found this video to be helpful, then please like, please subscribe, and please share. And... Hope you have a great day.